I guess the further it goes, the more craft has become the center of what I do. It's what makes the difference with mainstream. Craft is, has become the inspiration, the justification, the essence. I studied at the Antwerp Academy. Uh, craft was not so much a central idea in, in my work. I mean, I just wanted to become a fashion designer. But I guess when, when I moved to Paris and I started working well for couture houses, first Yves Saint Laurent, then Dior, now Berluti, um, all that, I mean, there I was very much faced with, with, with craft and with couture and with, with hand making. So the, the clash between those two has been I guess, my leitmotif ever since. I remember very well coming from Antwerp. I was, I was 22, it was my first internship. I was at, at Yves Saint Laurent. And in the, that first week, I met the hat makers from Maison Michel. And there was like such a huge gap between what I had been doing as an Antwerp fashion student and then coming to, to, to Paris and, and meet this, this old gentleman who came to the office and who made hats by hand, basically. That I remember very well as a first meeting because the clash couldn't have been bigger. I guess the most inspiring part of working with artisans is, well, that they bring something to the table. It's not like a machine. You don't give orders to a machine and then it comes out the way it's supposed to come out. I do find that that human side of the work has been the most stimulating. Um, I guess the most challenging part is definitely the fact that there's so much humans involved, which is what I like, but which then always ends up having a huge price tag. So that's sometimes the hardest part to explain that a patina is not a print that we did wherever and that then costs 25 times less. The fact that craft implies humans gives it a cost. What I find the most rewarding working here at Berluti is that people were so full on on their craft that it was, I guess, quite a challenge for me to, 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 to break open that box because I was so not part of that tradition. I, I just came here and I wanted to do new stuff. So I think I managed to surprise those craftspeople themselves of, of what they could actually achieve with their own craft. While they are the masters of their craft, I'm not. I'm just there to provoke them. Well. I'm, I'm not wearing couture in that sense that I don't think what we do is haute couture. There is, a, there is a difference between craft and couture. There is a difference between made to measure and couture. Um, what we do at Berluti is a lot of craft and that then implies that there is always only just small quantities of each. Once you've decided on the right tone, the right color, the right shade, you, you would kind of love to duplicate it. But every piece becomes unique. What I love is that now a leather jacket can sit next to a patina shoe, can, it, can sit next to a piece of furniture we did with Pierre Jeanneret, it can sit next to a photo frame that I also did, whatever. So all those pieces become what I guess people call a lifestyle, which is a bit of a word I don't like. But there is this spirit of Berluti, there is a, there is a Berluti style, which uh, I think is, is, a, is an incredible evolution, because when I got here, patina was related to leather goods, basta. Now it has become a world. What we live right now is kind of a, a danger for luxury, it's a danger for craft because now that we look at fashion through screens, through videos, through pictures, well basically you can get a lot of, you can get away with a lot of cheating. Um, craft needs to be touched, needs to be seen up close. That's what differentiates us again from mass production products. The more the world becomes digital, the more the human touch, the really hands-on approach on the product will be appreciated. I would say this is a time to accelerate, to, to, to push things even further. I mean, 
I'm, I, I go to a lot of art fairs, I go to a lot of uh, galleries. I mean, in the last couple of years, I see more painting, I see more drawing, I see more ceramics, I see handcraft coming back full on. And, and I think it's, it's as, I, as I explained before, it's just a natural evolution of people wanting the human warmth of, of things again. So I think that the future is bright. I think I would say the same thing as people, as my, my, my professors told me when I started going to the Antwerp Academy. They, well, first thing was like, why would you want to do fashion? Uh, and I said, well, because I don't think I would be good at anything else. So that was a good answer. And then, uh, and then, and then they said, well, how do you think you're going to make the difference? What, why would we look at you? And, and I guess that's exactly what I would say to young students right now. Like, you need to really want this because otherwise it's going to be too tough. But once you do, once you know that this is going to be your life, your destiny, well then really focus on what makes you different from anything else. And in that sense, craft is the perfect starting point because the handmade, the full-on hands approach is going to make you unique. Um, craft brings a bit of poetry to daily life. 